well, 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 welcome back. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit in wind today about strong emotions. All right, so if you can please put your name here on that first slide, and then we'll be good to go. All right, please proceed to slide two. So as we go through strong emotions, there's going to be a little game that they're going to ask us to play. We're going to play this game together right now. All right, so please listen closely to this Brain Builder video, and I'd like you to play the game uh, that it instructs you to play, and then write down two things that you remember from it. On your mark, get set, let's get it. to build your brain. I will. You're going to play level one level of a one. game called Shape Moves. Shape Moves. Here's how to play. You'll see a series of shapes on the screen. Not all the shapes or colors will be related to the rules of the game. Okay. If you see a shape or color that doesn't have to do with any of the rules, stand still. Mm -hmm. If you see a circle, form your arms into a circle. If you see a triangle, do this. Yes. If you see a star, do this. Okay. It's time to play. Let's do it. Circle. Circle. I'm going to change the rules now. What? Listen closely. I will. If you see a blue shape, mm. form your arms into a circle. Oh. If you see a red shape, form your arms into a triangle. Okay, okay. If you see a yellow shape, stand up tall with your arms straight out to your sides. Yes. Remember, if you see a shape or color that doesn't have anything to do with the rules, stand still. It's time to try it. Red. Green. Blue. Blue. Red. Yellow. Pink. Yellow. Purple. Red. Red. You did it. Yeah, I did. So two things that I remember, oop, two things that I remember. Well, look at those sentence starters on the, on the one side. One item I remember from the video is, all right, and then I'll finish that sentence. And then another item I remember from the video is now a quick note uh, let's say you're a sub in this room or you're using this video and you ain't me what I do is I play music as an indicator to pause the video so that students have time to uh, rock and roll with their uh, uh, with their uh, sentences so go ahead take the time to finish those two sentences take about a minute or so Yeah. Now let's say for some reason you don't have your uh, computer with you today. You couldn't get in a slide two. Well, all you had to do was type on loose, write on loose leaf paper. 
right? And if you're wondering what that looks like, it looks like what's about to show up on the Google right here. Take a look. Look at all this loose sleeve paper. Oh, ooh, look at this one. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, that one's nice too. College ruled filled from Office Depot. Some of the best. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, that's nice too, right? Oh my God, look at this. Waterproof? Are you serious? Wow. So you can write on loose leaf paper. All you have to do is write those same red sentences right there. You'll see them again. Let's get it. So uh, you can see here that strong emotions like being furious, embarrassed, terrified, nervous, or stressed. And then what can you do to manage them? You can write in a journal if you're embarrassed. You can rethink something if you're terrified. You can count if you're nervous. You can slow breathe if you're stressed, right? All you have to put for this one right here is just put web of strong emotions. Yes, indeed. Now there's another little follow-up video and we're going to write about two items that we remember. All right. So one item I remember from the video is. Now let's just say you don't have a computer. All you have to do is write this with a pencil or paper, then hand it to your sub uh, at the end of class or your teacher or me if I'm here. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this. Let's, let's stop. Uh, let's stop goofing around and, and take a look. So let's look at this video. What situ what's a situation that often causes you to feel a strong emotion? What's a situation that often causes you to feel a strong emotion? Um, a situation that makes me feel a strong emotion. <sighs> well, right before a math test, I always feel really stressed because I have a lot of pressure to get good grades. Even if I've studied a lot, I get knots in my stomach and my mind races like crazy. It's really hard to focus. Hang in there. I love hanging out with my older sister, but when her friends are over, she ignores me. It makes me feel really sad. I can hear them laughing and having fun while I sit there all by myself. I feel really nervous when I have to talk in front of my whole class. And my voice and hands, they get super shaky. And I forget what I'm going to say. And I know that they can all tell. Sure, of course I have a lot of strong emotions. I feel really frustrated every time someone points out my mistakes. Even if they're just trying to be helpful, it's hard to listen because I just want to give up. Well, whenever I, uh, whenever I hang out with a big group, I feel really embarrassed talking to people I don't know very well. Um, it's super awkward and I usually just stand there by myself until a friend comes and talks to me. My little sister always messes with my stuff. Even if I shut the door to my room and tell her not to come in, my mom says it's because she looks up to me, but I don't care. Sometimes I get so mad, I just wanna yell, leave me alone. Oh, all going through it. So y'all, what are two takeaways from that video? What are two little takeaways that, that you got? All right, one thing I remember from the video is, and another item I remember from the video is, take a moment, please, and uh, finish those sentences on a computer or paper. All right. Now, you've had those six individuals which person do you relate to most and why here's your sentence starter i relate most to blank because or yeah yeah because all right please take a moment and finish that you're going to put carson emma amani dylan oliver or victoria in one of those blanks Right. 
So now we're going to watch an, another video. And this video is going to sort of follow through with that strong emotions theme. Let's take a moment and rock and roll with this video real quick. Let's do it. What's a situation that often causes you to feel a strong emotion? Um, a situation that makes me feel a strong emotion. Well, right before a math test, I always feel really stressed because I have a lot of pressure to get good grades. Even if I've studied a lot, I get knots in my stomach and my mind races like crazy. It's really hard to focus. Voice and hands. Okay, so we've already seen that video. They, they want you to watch it twice. So you just have to remember what was going on with Carson, Emma, Amani, Dylan, Oliver, and Victoria. You can rewind this video if, if, if you need to watch it and the, the, the teacher or the assistant can you know, at the computer can help with that. But let's go ahead and answer those three questions. All right. First, what do you remember from the video? I'm just going to have you put X's there because uh, honestly, um, that's just the same video twice. All right, so number one, what's the situation? The situation is da da da. Number two, how does it make the person feel? It makes blank feel. Bop, bop, bop. And then number three, whoop, number three, what might happen if this situation doesn't change? All right. If the situation. Whoop, situation does not change comma then bah, bah, bah. please take the time to finish those three sentence starters So where we end up then is think about a situation from your own life that often causes a strong emotion. Write or for writing, describe the situation and how it makes you feel. Predict what might happen if the situation doesn't change, right? So my situation that causes strong emotions is dot, dot, dot. And then describe the situation. I would describe... Well, I think that's part of the earlier sentence. If the situation does not change, comma, then dot, dot, dot. All right, please take the time to finish those two sentences about yourself now. All right, good job during win today, everybody.